The first thing we're going to want to do in this problem is solve for the outmost absolute value on the left hand side of the inequality. Now we're going to get rid of that outmost absolute value by changing the problem to a compound inequality. Now we're going to want to solve for the last absolute value in the center expression of the compound inequality. What we notice here though is that the absolute value can't be between those two values so we're going to get a no solution and that's because the absolute value of x has to be greater than or equal to zero resulting in the empty graph.